Comprehensive chromosome screening involves the use of intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Here you can see a single egg being held in place by a holding pipette, and there you can and you can see a single sperm moving up and down a microneedle being prepared to be injected into the egg itself. This is important because only the DNA from the sperm and the egg can be involved for future testing. Here you can see individual droplets. This is how the embryologist keeps track of individual eggs and resultant embryos. Each droplet is numbered, and this is important in order to maintain the integrity of the data. So an abnormal embryo can be defined from a normal embryo. Here you can see micromanipulation tools being used to prepare an embryo for embryo biopsy. Here you can see the micromanipulation setup, which is a computer-assisted system in order to be able to manipulate embryos in preparation for a biopsy. Here you can see the embryologist moving a blastocyst onto the holding pipette and taking out a small sample of the trophectoderm, the cells that will eventually become the placenta. A laser is used to finally splice these cells away from the embryo. Here you can see the biopsy sample being ejected from the biopsy tube. These five to 10 cells are then placed in a small test tube along with a very small amount of media, which is then used to transport the embryo biopsy specimen stably to the RMA of New Jersey lab. A thermocycler machine is used to achieve stability of the specimen. CCS is a breakthrough technology which allows us to choose the healthiest embryo for embryo transfer.